Hackers can remotely control your Segway hoverboards. Delta Airlines is replacing boarding passes with fingerprints. Hi everybody, I'm Priscilla and this is the Mikey Security Report, your weekly roundup of the latest cybersecurity and hacking news. So first the Segway and then the hoverboard and now ladies and gentlemen, the Segway hoverboard, which as the name suggests is a cross between the two. A security researcher from the firm IO Active has discovered several critical vulnerabilities in a Segway hoverboard called the Ninebot Mini Pro. It's a really hard name. Why can't you have called it like the, 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 I don't know, <laughs> just not that. <laughs> the researcher has announced that it can be remotely exploited by hackers, allowing them to take full control of it from within a few meters. The Segway Ninebot Mini Pro is known as the SUV of hoverboards. Ooh. It is a high-speed, self-balancing, two-wheel, hands-free electric scooter, and it allows riders to control the hoverboard through a smartphone app. It's pretty cool. Users can do things like adjust light colors, modify safety features, set an anti-theft alarm system, and even remotely command the scooter to move. The researcher claimed that it took actually less than 20 seconds to remotely take control of the hoverboard. Now, the critical security vulnerabilities include the potential hacker being able to connect to your scooter via Bluetooth and without a PIN code. And the unencrypted channel over which the app and the hoverboard communicate can be messed with by the attacker and can allow him or her to take full access. If exploited, the hacker can control the device's speed, settings, and even the direction. I mean, I'm clumsy enough on my feet. Delta is expanding a feature that allows users to check in using their fingerprint instead of a boarding pass. Yes! The service was first launched at the Washington National Airport in May and allows the Delta Sky Miles members to enter the Delta Sky Club with their fingerprint instead of a boarding pass. Now those members can use their fingerprints to even board the plane. The airline is partnering with a company called Clear to make the service available. Can you imagine be like, tickets please? And I'll be like, what if I'm traveling with a dog? <laughs> now it's cool because biometric verification has a higher level of accuracy than a paper boarding pass. Additionally, it gives agents more time to assist customers than to be beep scanning every single boarding pass. And you're like waiting in line. It's like peep, peep. And customers have to keep track of less as they travel through the airport. Delta says that the next step for fingerprint rollout is to allow customers to use their fingerprints for baggage claim. They hope to test this with the SkyMiles program in hopes of making it available to all customers. All right, you guys, that was all for this week's episode of the Mikey Security Report. If you enjoyed this video, please like our Facebook page and make sure to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.